You've been compared to Dylan Mulvaney saying that this is the, the Navy's Bud Light moment, that all of a sudden people aren't going to want to serve because you've been put out as a face of the Navy. It's got to at least hurt a little bit personally, doesn't it? Honestly, no, it doesn't hurt. The reason why it doesn't hurt is because everyone is, you're, you have your own opinion, you have your own views. And as a sailor, it's my job to defend that freedom. And that includes even my freedom of expression. So anybody who served their country and put on that uniform has taken that oath just like me. So I don't necessarily am hurt um, by any hate or negativity. I simply just pay it no mind and it will um, eventually the truth will come out and what is right is what is right and what is wrong is what is wrong. But that's not for me to determine. My, determine. my job is to just continue doing what I'm doing. And if being an openly queer sailor and showing representation for the LGBTQ plus community, a community that simply has not um, had the opportunity to shine as bright. Um, I mean, Don't Ask, Don't Tell was only 2011 of September, and we only allowed trans member to open, um, to serve openly since 2021. So I just simply have to be the first person that authentically said, I want to still be me and serve my country. And I believe I definitely did that. And I'm not the only one. Every branch has drag queens, has LGBTQ plus members. And if anything, um, drag itself should be nothing new for anyone who served, um, especially even in the service. Uh, before times of World War II, when my grandfather um, served, I know he's definitely seen a few drag queens. And my father himself, who served 24 years, would tell me the crossing of the line ceremonies. And if anybody knows those, drag has been a part of it too.